You are live. We are live. Hello. Hey, and Sherman. Then, hey. When y'all go to end it, I'm uh -huh. sure mm -hmm. they hit that. And it takes a little walk. Thank hey, you, Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> that Brandon. No shirt on. Or my, my undershirt. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, like his computer desk is right next to our fireplace, so he is definitely a little yeah, toasty. Like, <laughs> you right want to turn down the volume on your no, phone? I'm sorry, it's all right. I'm sorry. So. All right, so we're trying to figure this out and uh, getting Streamyard hooked up. Have you figured out if the it, Facebook? It will pop up soon. It will. He said. Okay. You awesome. just have to give him, and it's a little slow. Let's see how we can see messages. See. I got messages popped up here, but I can't tell anywhere I else. Just have oh, we got Sherman. Oh, thank you, Sherman. Yeah, you guys post a comment. Yes, I just see Facebook and YouTube messages oh, on here, really? so we do not need the phone. So there's Facebook message that popped up too. Yes. What did Facebook say? Um, let me see. We have a hi from Sandra. Oh, hey. and I replied hi. Awesome. Yeah. So when I reply hi, it replies to the Facebook and YouTube on here. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes. Isn't, it, isn't technology kind of crazy? Yes, it's crazy. Like that we're hanging out in our garage in We Oklahoma. have tons of hi. You want to go through there really quick? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Hey. Uh, wow. There's a lot. Yes. <laughs> oh, hey, Stephanie. Hey, Michelle. Um, I cannot pronunciate very well because, like, I was deaf for a portion of my life from <laughs> ear infections to where, yeah, I can't, I, I like missed a portion of learning. <laughs> but that's awesome. So, oh, wow, from Arizona. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So there's someone from Pennsylvania in here, too. Jackie. Wow, this is crazy. This is awesome. Well, let's get oh, hey, started, Sherry. too. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Let's, let's yeah. get started. Let's get okay, I'm going to go grab the um, emus. I forgot to grab Pop-Tart. Well, I thought that she's going to steal the show. So we're going to show the new little goats that we have. Okay, do we want to do that first? Yeah. Emus? Yeah, feed the... We're going to feed the little babies first. Oh, yeah, we had good questions on um, why we pulled these two. Okay, so... Here, you want to sit down? Yeah. So their mama got pregnancy toxemia, and it's it, it, it's almost like they're... Okay, wait. Judy says she cannot see anything. Okay. Is anybody else having problems not being able to see anything? Just let me know. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. Hmm. Aww. Is anybody watching on Facebook that cannot also see anything? Just let us know on Facebook, you guys. Because we are definitely saying that we are not yes. technology savvy. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy loves Pop-Tart. Oh, my God. Girl, let me tell you, when I'm screaming Pop-Tart, she comes running through the pasture. And it's the coolest. If we had neighbors... <laughs> They'd be like, why is she always screaming Pop Tart? Yeah. Like, we scream, say Pop Tart so many times that now it's coming up on our Facebook ads. Yeah. Bro, well, you got to show them the little pigs. Carrot the cake needs out now. Okay. Bad. So, we had to take carrot cake away because he was not growing. He was like, he was not eating. So, carrot cake is with the goats now. <laughs> this is carrot cake. Hey everyone! And he doesn't like being without the goats. Yeah, he loves the goats. <laughs> yeah, so he's he's wonderful. Kelly oh. says hello from Rhode Island. Ooh, Rhode, Rhode Island. Island. That's cool. Oh, uh, so mama got pregnancy toxemia. That's almost like essentially like their body starts beating off itself. To yeah, they get weak. And then the babies got smaller and were like weaker kids. Judy is still not getting it. However, everybody else is. I'm so sorry, Judy. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Okay, sorry, Marie. But, I interrupted um, you. To where like her body couldn't restore itself and they were already small from her being sick. It just kind of happens sometimes with goats. 
Um, you just do your best and take care of them, but that's why we went ahead and pulled these babies because they, they're doing good now, but they, they wouldn't have made it. Huh. And this little buckling is naturally pulled. Which one is this one? Does it have horns or no horns? No horns. No horns. That is Harry. Harry. And the other one is Lloyd. Lloyd. Harry and Lloyd. Yes. I think he named them Harry and Lloyd from Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> They're silly when they run around the yeah, garage. Yeah, they are so cute. Hello, little people. There's Carrot Cake. Oh, no. He's got a special little toy. Oh, tush. my goodness. Oh, hey, Carrot Cake. Oh, Oh, did you bring his bowl? That's why he's throwing a fit. Come here, Carrot Cake. I knew. Okay, let me finish. This we party. have so many people on here saying hi. I'm so sorry. I can't keep up with it. I am so happy. Yeah. It makes me happy seeing everyone on here. Yeah, thank you, guys. We're glad you're here. Someone said yummy carrot cake. <laughs> So we were talking about how like all our animals are named after food. <laughs> we have Snickers. We have like itsy bitsy bacon bits. Yeah, ham ham, ham carrot cake. Carrot cake. We have pickles. Yes. Um. um let me think. Oh, thank you. Brandon. Oh, Brandon's hooking himself with a light. Look how sweet he is. <laughs> I remembered it. Exactly. <laughs> Cottage. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's way better, Brandon. Yeah. So awesome. You, you're such a professional. <laughs> no, Cindy just, said, I just went through some of it. Yeah. Cindy said hello, Brandon. Well, hello, Cindy. <laughs> oh, carrot cake is like, you need to feed me. Yeah, he's yeah. looking for his bowl. Yeah, he'll get his Oh, See, that's they're so cute. <laughs> oh, you got to show him the little hat that you found. Oh, yes. Oops. One milk, no, all right. Here, here. <laughs> which one did you have wearing it? Uh, they both wear it. They both wear it. Mm -hmm. So, we got these little hats at PetSmart. Mm -hmm. We recommend this if you have baby goats. <laughs> Were they, I think they're cats? Yeah, they're cat hats. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my, <laughs> that is the cutest thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Precious. <laughs> All right, carrot cake. Let's get you. And then, carrot cake. He's like, no. My carrot cake. He'll come over here once he smells it. I'm going to go grab the emu chicks. Cindy says that's almost as cute as putting the PJs on them. <laughs> Marie is going to run and get the emus. I will show you guys the little baby shits while we wait. I want some carrot cake. <laughs> I don't know if you guys watched our video the other day, but here's all the chickies from the Crandles. Oh my. They are so cute. Hey, little ones, what's she guys doing? Oh, Sherman finally made it home. How was the road, Sherman? Yes, Cindy. Oh, thank. I'm so happy you watched them hatch. That was my first time I seen one hatch. It was life changing. I'm sorry, Judy. Um, Joanne, we are going to do a live of hypnotizing the baby chickens. We've been doing it all day long, and so have the kids. <sighs> They're so cute. Yeah, our road out front is bad, but once we get on the highway, it's the same. It's pretty clear, too, Sherman. We're going through a little ice storm down here. Okay, here's Marie with the emus. Yeah, here is our first three chicks of the year. We here. You want to come in closer to the oh, light? You want to bring it close? Oh yeah. So we're gonna. So 
here is our first blonde emu chick of the season. See carrot cake. <laughs> Nothing's coming to eat. Yeah. He's already gaining weight just yes. from the two days of being in here. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. It was a great decision. He was just so tiny. Yeah. A lot of times the runs can stay with him, but he just not getting any bigger. And they're old enough to wean now, so. Yeah. But this is a blonde emu chick. This one is already has a little bit of personality. Huh? But see how this, they're still, they hatched overnight. They, um, everything hatched a day early. I think it's because we're in winter and we keep the house warm. Yeah. So, but see, they'll get fluffed up and like how this little bit will kind of just fall off. Aren't they cute? They are so cute. So we got two blondes. Oh, yeah. Can awesome. you show the difference between the two here? Let me hold this one and you hold them. The, the difference is crazy in the color. And the color. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See so the this, blonde? This is a normal color chick. And here's a blonde chick. In a day or two, they'll all be fluffy. Um, we just let them fluff out on their own. But they're they're a lot of fun. I'm super pumped that we got three out of the four eggs to hatch on our first first go round. But I'm gonna go ahead and get them put tank. Okay, I'm gonna follow you to the tank. And they haven't walked around yet. They're still pretty new. Nope. Yeah, they came straight out of the hatcher. Yeah. And uh, they'll be in here for a day or so. Now we have, I use this, this is plastic. It's off of Amazon. It's a flooring and it just snaps together. I really like this. The chicks, they get traction and they're able to really stay clean. Um, I like that a lot. And also we're going to have our heat lamp set up on one side and then we have all this room where if the chicks are hot, they can get away from the heat lamp. Because one thing that's really not good for chicks is them getting overheated. I told them that you were going to hypnotize some baby chicks on camera. Oh, live. Okay. <laughs> it's so funny. Like the kids have been. I told them the kids have been doing it all day. And so yeah. have we. Look, I love this little fluffy, but he has no idea. He has no idea. Just. Hanging out. He's like, oh. But it's what it is is they like the warmth of your hand. So you just go. And then see. And if they don't want to relax right away, this one is. You just put your hand over them and just kind of warm them up. Start relaxing. See. And oh, oh like, no, it. no, no. <laughs> warm them up. And it's the uh, rhythmic stroke stroking is relaxing. Of course, now that we're on live, it'll try another chick. Yeah. There he goes. You just see. Okay. Now he's like, oh, oh. it just takes a minute. Once you get them comfy, they just relax. There we go. Hey, Sherry. Hello, Sherry. And he, aren't they just the sweetest little thing? Yes. Oh, he still has his little egg tooth. He still does? Yeah, that little little Aww. thing right there for breaking out of the shell. Cindy said, I showed that to my sister on the other video. She laughed so hard. Really? <laughs> I have never seen has, that before. That really? was my first never time, too. It? Yeah. I don't even remember why, uh, what I was doing and just noticed that, I don't know. I guess I just noticed things about animals. Okay. This one then. So this is a different one. And out. <gasps> like, like, I don't think people realize that they're really. That's so cute. Everyone has to try this. Do yes. country farms. Hey, will you guys try this and let me know? Okay, so we're warming up our hands. Like, and you think of the warmth, like, you know, when you have like a sore, someplace sore, like your sore shoulder or something, you warm your hands up and just set it on it and how you're like. 
Dude Country Farms just uh, oh. set 16 eggs in the incubator on Monday. Oh, awesome. Oh, congrats. What, what, what breed? Let's see. See? Another one. It, it's crazy. It's so easy to just make them pass out. Joanne says it doesn't get old. <laughs> really? <laughs> and the, they're just like, boop. Cindy says we need to show Trandall how to do that. We will next time he comes down if we have some chickens. Yeah. And then, well, yeah, the, half of these are going to go to Crandall. Yeah. Well, and I want to get the ones that he's going to keep for himself. Like, how cool would that be if he has super tame little chickens for the kids? Duke says Orphingtons. Oh, Orphingtons? What color? I love Orphingtons. Orphingtons are a nice breed. And <laughs> Stephanie said, can we do this to the kids? <laughs> <laughs> Brandon's laughing back here. Too. Yeah, Brandon. <laughs> Stephanie, remember, good with the animals. <laughs> I don't know. We just try it on the kids. Yeah, Maybe even the heating pad. See, just yeah. I wish that would work on the kids. <laughs> They're so funny. So you guys still like seeing the? Yes, the we love it. Really? Keep. Mm -hmm. keep just hypnotizing chicks for you. I'll hypnotize Brandon chicks. keeps hooking us up with more yes. lies. Brandon is like working <laughs> in the back. He's awesome. Yeah. He's, he's our light man tonight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I'm going to say your wrong, name wrong. Panja, are these the chits from the AIDS? That, the Eldridge. Mm -hmm. band? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't it cool? Like Crandall showed me here. Let me see if I can make two. Oh, Cindy said, does it work on duckies? I didn't, I didn't try it. <gasps> we got to try oh, duckies yes, now. Uh, 25 chicken? Never done that for a Really? Bit. See, isn't it crazy how it works? Hey, Donna, I'm sorry. Oh. We're doing so much on here. I don't know if you said anything earlier. Okay. I, I apologize. So you just warm your hands up. Like, you know, where it feels right. good. And then you just grab a chick. And then just cup them. Okay, we're going to teach Brandon. And then you just get them comfortable. And see once their little legs go out like that? Yeah. They're relaxed. And... Duke says they're supposed to be black buff lavender. Oh, I love lavender working too. <laughs> Is your Facebook working, Donna? Yeah, let's do a big one. Huh? Sorry. Oh, I'm just asking uh, if Donna's Facebook is good. See? Can you just get them comfy? I've got them turned the wrong way. Let me see. See what? Yeah. It take my hand. Tuck <laughs> it like this. And then Marie's gonna oh. get both of them and hit her hand to do it. Okay. And then see the eyes, see the oh, eyes, yeah, how it relaxes. Okay, here, you want to try it? We did oh, try your, it on the emus, Val. Oh, okay. your, yeah. Brandon's hands are cold. Yeah. That's so neat. if your hands are cold at all, it won't work. Like it's just comfy. And then it totally relaxes them. They just. So why is some of them green leg and some of them are white leg? Um, Brandon was, or uh, Crandall was saying that it's the uh, breed. Really? Yeah, because they're supposed to have the, it, it was actually came over from I think, France, mm -hmm. and it was for the French flag, the red, blue, and the white, so the blue skin color. Yeah, mm -hmm. and there's some that are really dark. Yes, their feet are different colors here. Yeah. Oh, Let's wow. see. Isn't that cool? And, you know, another thing that Crandall was telling me is that, um, so the skin color, a lot of people won't buy the, di the darker blue colored birds because mm. of the way it looks when you cook it. Mm. So, so does that mean their skin's going to Yeah, be? their skin's that color. Really? I'm yeah. Sorry. So we yeah. tried to do it on the emus. They're a little bit bigger to hold in your hand, but, yes, it does work. Yeah, let's, let's, see. <laughs> let's see if we can. So is the meat dark too? I don't think the meat is. I think it it's is just crazy. the skin color. Yeah, the skin color is people don't like eating blue chickens. So <laughs> Val just sent $25 for a snack fund. Uh-uh. What snacks? Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> the first time anyone sent us anything. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Let us know what snacks. Yeah, let us know what 
right. and we will make a video. Okay, so see how these chicks' legs are further apart? There we go. They have to figure it out. That's why we want them on this so they can get traction. Like you don't want them on the uh, just the metal. Let's see if we can get one. I love the color on this one. I know you like the blondes. Let's see if we can get them to fall asleep. And it's all about your hand being on. She says any snack for the animals Aww. will it'll, do. It'll probably. Nay nibblers. Nay nibblers. Yeah. All nay -nibblers. the animals eat them. All the animals eat nay nibblers. He's not falling asleep. But oh, oh, see the leg? Yeah. Yeah. They're so interesting. But they're, they just sleep a lot. And in a couple days, they'll get all nice and fluffy. Stephanie says she's always cold. She won't be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, she's always cold. Yeah. Emus. Emus. Yeah. They're so cute. Yes, I love their coloring. Yes, Chickens are like crocodiles, Kelly said. When you roll them over, they go to sleep. Oh, that don't tell chasing. Marie that. <laughs> that little goat is chasing you, Brandon. I don't know what's playing with Marie. <laughs> that one's Harry. <laughs> and Lloyd is in the background jumping around. Yeah. They're so cute. They're doing so good now. Oh, <laughs> you trying to get the pig to play with him? Oh. Oh, I wanted to show you guys the difference. This is a little bit of an ostrich egg and then the emu egg. So wow, the emus, the fitness. Yeah, the emus we don't have to help hatch out very often, but the ostriches, you can see why we do. Um, <laughs> realize the goat getting you? <laughs> you didn't yeah. let us get on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. The goat was sucking cute? Brandon's ear. No, <laughs> it milk. was attempting to. <laughs> Oh. oh, the little pig is so funny. Yeah. Oh, hey, you guys got any questions or anything? That yeah, you know? or what are you guys what up to tonight? What questions? What are you guys up to? We just wanted to show everyone our new chicks and, you know, hypnotizing baby chicks, right? Yeah. Angie said hi, Marie. Hey. This is awesome. And it's all, always fun to be hanging out in the garage. Yeah. Especially when it's action time. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They're... Hey, you guys. Hey, Harry. Hey, Lloyd. They're so funny, especially now that they're starting to get their little... Oh, I, I missed it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this... This one you can tell is... Oh, my goodness. They're like, oh, we're not going to let you get us now. Oh, no, they think it's playtime. <laughs> yeah. Let's see that one. Okay, so this one is naturally pulled. That means he won't grow any horns. But if you look at his head, you can see more like the shape on his head. And then How do you know that they're, they're natural? Like just you know, the mom. When okay. you breed pulled uh -huh. to horns, and then half the time you get pulled, and half the time yeah, you, you get can horns. See his but yeah, how you can see the calyx uh -huh. for the horns, and you can see how the head. Can you guys tell? Yeah, you just camera? see. Yeah, you just see right here the horns are coming up. Mm -hmm. She's like, he's like, don't touch me right there. And then this one does not have any. Yeah, I like pulled. Yeah. Cindy wants to know, Marie, Brandon couldn't answer this, but when will the horses that he has have the babies? I know um, you guys were just talking about this the other day. We need to start checking. Yeah. We had our first. Um, yeah, Steph was looking at it the other day. Yeah, it's a new time. Yeah, any time will show them. There were several of them that was pretty close. That She said next year, baby. So. He's mad that the goats. He's mad. The pig's mad that we're holding the goats. Yeah, that, is that bad? Yes. Yeah, anytime. Actually, um, I think it was February 5th or February 7th was the first day when I was, we went and looked back on pictures and everything. 
<gasps> it's Michelle's birthday today. Awesome. Happy birthday. Oh. I'm going to be like, happy birthday from a little tiny goat. This, okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so bad with pronouncing names. I'm going to show Marie the camera. Maybe she can pronounce that. No. <laughs> we can't pronounce it. Show you, show you. I'm so sorry if I cannot pronounce yeah, we, that correct. We can't. That's the baby goats are doing awesome today. They are so yes. happy. They are so precious. They are just bouncing all over the place. <laughs> So, I couldn't believe that we missed the emu hatching. We're like, oh, everything hatched a day early. Yes. <laughs> We're like, oh, yeah, we'll get it. And then just, oh, they are warming up. They are wore out. So, this is what they'll do for the first couple days is just kind of lay here and sun themselves. Aww. So precious. This one wants to be over here where it's a little bit cooler. Yeah. And that's, that's all right. Thing, they'll, they'll decide what they want. And as it gets cooler, they'll, um, like, when it's cooler in here, the chicks get closer and you want enough space that they can get away from the heat. Yeah. Cool off. Oh, um, I believe it was Jean asked about chicken breeds on okay. how um, I pick chicken breeds. Uh, I always go for the bigger and fluffier because they're generally less athletic and friendlier. Yeah. That makes sense. Like if it has game in the name, it was bred to be athletic. And uh, that includes flogging you. <laughs> Like Malachi, when he tries to flog us, like roosters are, are supposed to protect your hens. Like yeah. If you're out there catching the rest of the hens, the rooster's supposed to flog you. Well, like Malachi, he's like a huge He's big, ball, yes. Like, that comes at you, whereas a game rooster, oh man, he'll come at you and teach you a lesson. <laughs> Peggy says, when do you give the emus food and water? In, in a couple days. They have a, um, a egg yolk. They need to finish absorbing that. Mm. Mm -hmm. And like the ostriches, it's longer. It's Tanja says, who's behind the camera? <laughs> um, <laughs> so I am Fifi. I'm Marie's yes. best friend. Um, if you go and watch our previous video called Goat Kids. Or Life with Kids. Life with Kids. If you rewind or fast forward all the way to the end, yes. I kind of introduce myself again. Yes. You'll hear me constantly behind the camera. I'm, I'm trying um, to hear more and more on the other side. Yes, I'm trying to get more comfortable on the front end. It's just a little nervous. It takes time. Yeah. But go and watch Life with Kids. Fast forward mm -hmm. to the end, and I will introduce myself and tell me a little bit about yeah. me. I, I was trying to talk her into getting on the camera this time, but she's I'm in, in her Care Bear pajamas. I'm in pajamas. <laughs> and her Toy Story teacher. Yes. <laughs> so, um. Yeah. Chola, Chola, hey, Chola, ask how the porcupine is today. Oh, let me, Let's get the porcupine let out. Oh, Ashley's on. Buckaloo, who just seen oh, today. Hey. I heard you. I heard she ran into you guys at Walmart today. You got it. She gonna be a little. She's a little hard to pick up sometimes. There she goes. Oh, her name is Tanya. Um, yes, that makes sense. I'm so sorry. I will really yeah. try to remember that. She is very new to the channel. Yes, I recommend, like I said, watching that Life mm -hmm. with Kids. It tells me a little bit about us. Mm -hmm. And also go and watch the intro video that explains Marie, William, and her kids on the property, too. Like, we have a whole herd here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then there's this Pokey. This is Pokey. I don't know if you met her yet, Tanya, then. She is so she they love being touched. Like feel this. See her? Can you hear her talking? Yeah. 
<laughs> this is her favorite thing to do and walk on the leash. <laughs> Stephanie said Brandon left because of the porcupine. <laughs> really? <laughs> she says, see, you got the porcupine out. So Brandon said, see ya. Oh, I didn't know he was scared of the porcupine. Really scared of the porcupine. Oh. I don't think he is. is he? Well, I guess he is. Nah, he got used to it. He started getting used to it. She's so sweet. Yes, we have a petting zoo in our garage because it is freezing outside yeah. right now. It's freezing. Otherwise, they'd be outside, but um, over um, 50, or under 50 degrees. They don't like it. So. Donna says she has a small flock of silkies <gasps> and painted Ooh. horses. Oh, awesome. oh, my goodness. Miniature horses or real horses? Yes. <laughs> We seen some real horses recently. Mm -hmm. Remember when we went to the vet? Oh, yes. And they were scared to death of the miniature horses. It's funny. I'd rather have mini horses all day yeah. long. Yeah, we're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she is so sweet. Like, yes. I never thought. Like, I never thought I would own a porcupine until I locked eyes with a baby porcupine from across the room. Val says she's getting so big. Oh, yeah, yes. she is. Mm -hmm. She's, I think, going to be, like, five foot big. Right? Yes, five foot long. Mm -hmm. And she loves walking on the leash. It's so funny. Yeah. I'm trying to teach her little tricks, too. Oh, we took a... Uh, we took Pop-Tart on a walk around the lake. Mm-hmm. If you guys watch our video, <laughs> weekly highlight video next week. Yeah. <laughs> it was the cutest thing ever. Yeah. So now Poquette's going to run around and play. And... Cindy said, don't you have a smaller porcupine? Um, that is her. Yeah. Um, she grew. That is her. That yeah. is the small porcupine, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Michelle. It was hilarious when they are scared of our little miniature ponies. Yeah. <laughs> They're so funny. It's funny that they're the little babies are checking everything out. They're a lot of fun. And the goats, they're not sure what to think of a porcupine. I'm gonna go get her some kale. Yes, that is the one that chases us around. Yeah. Yep, Cindy, you are correct. Yeah. She is growing like a weed. Come here, Pokey. Come here, Pokat. Pokat. She's a little iffy about me. I've been feeding her snacks, trying to get her to like me. Hey, Pokey. Come here, Pokey. I don't have nothing, but I will pet you. <laughs> oh, and I want to say thank you, Tanya, for sending us stars. Like, I know. That's our first. You guys have sent us. Val and Tanya sent us our first ever anything. Been, and that's awesome. So we're going to have to go get treats tomorrow. Yes. Donna says full size paints, two stallions, a paint mare, a gilding. Oh, One stallion is 23 this year. Oh, cool. She wants to get a mini for her grandson. I recommend it. They're they're not the same as real horses, if that makes sense. I feel a goat on my back. Yeah. <laughs> you want to play? Yeah. Play. Now we have all these horses. <laughs> She's like, there's so much stuff in the way now. She's so funny. Like, this is her favorite thing to do, is run around and hide. <laughs> She's frisky. Yeah. She's a wild woman. Oh, Tanya says she missed the baby. What baby? Which one? We'll show you again. Yeah. Which baby did she miss? Yes. Let us know. <laughs> oh, no, Poket. She's chewing on some wires. <laughs> Her favorite thing is an extension cord. Yes. So the porcupines actually don't shoot out their quails. When they shake, they come off. And when you come in contact with them, with your skin, they come off. And they will let go in your skin. Yeah, they have like little little hooks. Yeah. Oh, Tanya says the emus. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, we can show you. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. So this is our first blonde chick of the season. 
And uh, then this is actually the third chick that hatched out. And this is the normal color. Oh, wow. He's standing up pretty yeah. good. We're getting him. And yes, it does hurt. <laughs> I have got them stuck in my finger just from cleaning the cage. And it's a little bit of a burning pain. It has like a toxin or something. Yeah, it, it yeah. burns. And then this is our last, or the second one chick. I'm really hoping um, to get some white chicks to keep this year. Oh, yeah. Back. Um, so when you breed a blonde to a blonde emu, 50% of the time you'll get blonde chicks. And then 25% of the time you'll get the regular color like this. And then 25% of the time you'll get white chicks and the white chicks is what we're shooting for to keep some for ourselves. And then we have some pre-orders for some blonde chicks and uh, we haven't started listing. Karen says she loves the emails. They are precious. Yes. I love it when they're brand, how they're just, they're just coming out and every time they get a little fluffier, Oh, so, the emus do not have so names, so we are up for names. Yes. We haven't got bored well, yet to sit on, around we, and name we them. We can't get too attached yet. Okay, because like they just came out of the egg. We don't name things. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I name them as soon as they come out. Oh, oh. As soon as Carrot Cake come out, I named him Carrot Cake. Yeah. Can you tell if they are white right now? Karen no. wants to know. No, I can tell they're blonde. Okay. It's like they'll come out white, white. Okay. Oh, she also has, Donna also has Nigerian goats, oh, geese, Nigerian ducks, goats. and lots awesome. of chickens. She has a big farm. Oh, cool. You got a bunch of cool We want to see some of that, Donna. You yeah. should upload some videos on Facebook. I want to watch. Yeah. We love goats, yeah. as you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the, that lasted like two seconds. Um. Yeah. Pokey already ate something. Yeah. yeah. But you have to. Oh, out. Pokey! Stop! Hey, yeah. Pokey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. Uh, she's a little terror sometimes. Yeah. She's awesome. Oh, there's another cord back there. Yeah. We have to watch her. She's like, I'm wild. She's like a two-year-old that can run full speed. Yeah. She's checking me out. It. She's so fun when she wants to play. She's getting there. Cindy wants to yeah. name one knock knock. knock, knock. <laughs> That's awesome. Knock knock. Sandra says Polly Wally and Doodle. <gasps> Polly Wally and Doodle. Okay. Next I'm one is all... knock knock. Will we have a single? One that comes out that has to be knock knock. I love Polly Wally and Doodle. Those Polly sounds Wally like names I would call them. We need a knock knock. Next one. I would do Polly Wallow and Mr. Doodle. <laughs> Mr. Doodle. You gotta throw a Mr. in there. Mm -hmm. She's so funny, but I'm like, I have to watch her. Later. Oh, Karen says, I heard the wires are made with some type of nut oil. That's why they like it. Really? Hmm. Wonder that if we would order some that are not. Hey, no, 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 no. Well, it's like a three-year-old. You just gotta <laughs> watch them. She's not gonna be happy with you. She's not. No, she's not happy. She says no. This is when I get quilled most of the time. If I do. Yes, right here at this time. <laughs> So it's the trying to as long as I gotta get, get her comfortable. Yes, Donna, I heard rabbits chew on cords like no other. Really? Yes. Well, they're rodent. Mm -hmm. so. Rodent family. I mean, it makes sense. She's not happy. Can you guys hear her shaking her tail? Yes. That's her cussing me for picking her up. <laughs> uh -huh. But. You know, that's the level of cussing. Kodak says hi from Richmond, Ohio. Oh, awesome. Ohio. Isn't yeah. that cool that we're hanging out with everybody from all over all right over, now? Yeah, all over. Like, we're just chilling in the garage with yeah. porcupines, some emu chicks. Some the dogs chicken. don't mess with the porcupines. Um, no, they like they to play together. Yes. Believe it or not, they 
they yeah. do enjoy each other's company. See, she's cussing. Mm, yeah. Everyone's like, quill, 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 quill. <laughs> I'll no. hold the camera. <laughs> Terry says, I raise, oh, what kind of goat is that? I'm sorry. Mm, where, uh, pig, I don't know. Is maybe pig me goats? No, I don't think so. It's okay, so she raised goats, there. rabbits. Yeah, she's, she's happy now. She Chickens. And turkeys, we. Oh. Where do you order yeah, your turkeys uh, from? Lennon's been asking for some turkey. Eggs yes, that he wanted a hat. He wants light colored turkey. So let me know when you get your turkey or where you order them from. Yeah. I was going to order some. Mm -hmm. Turkeys are harder to hatch. Oh, Cindy mm -hmm. recommend you to cut a piece of a hose and put the cords through it. Oh, I had so old uh, hoses. <laughs> I just threw such away. A good idea. I just threw a bunch away. That's that had holes. We should. Yeah. What a great idea. We'll Trudy says hi from the UK. Oh, oh I love gosh. that puppy picture. That's awesome. It oh, has a cute little sit shoe. Aww. Yeah. <sighs> Angie's from East Texas. Oh, awesome. Tanya's from Tennessee. Oh, that's so cool. Karen's from Arkansas. Not too far. Yep. Yeah. Nope, you're not. No. You have to be held. Oh, Stephanie said it's a pygmy and a Nigerian together. Really? Mm, that's cool. Oh. So is it like a better for a meat breed or better for dairy? Yeah. Like foraging? What's the the cross? Jody's from Sydney, Australia. Really? What? Hey. Yeah. What time of day is it right now? Donna, I just see your profile a little bit. I see it's some type of painted animal i can't make it a horse or a cow or some i don't know it looks like a horse yeah i'll have to check on it i'll Ooh, have to click on it after i'm done Ooh, awesome nancy from west virginia cynthia's that's from that's alabama cool. now she's tanya's from cold yeah, wet sets we're right there with you yeah. we're cold we're, we're not about it. <laughs> we're not happy right now. <laughs> That's where we're all hanging out in the garage. Yeah. Everybody's happy. Nice and toasty. Nice 75 in here. Yeah. We keep it warm. <laughs> this is our hangout. This is where we hang out when, yeah, all our free time. time. Mm -hmm. Whenever, well, if it's icky, otherwise we're outside. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mary. Awesome. Oh, is from New York. Did you hear her shake her tail? I saw a movement. She's so funny. Oh, Peggy's in Oklahoma, too. You're really? dealing with the same weather. Yeah. yeah. Hey, whenever we get our... Uh, we're we're going to try and get it set up. Bloom, where everyone can come here. We're working on ordering flowers as yeah. well. If anyone knows any... That we're gonna plant some zinnias for sure, but I didn't know if we should do any specialty zinnias as well for photos. Like, what do you guys think? I didn't. I had thought about. Well, I want to let the kids do some flowers as well. Like, I'm gonna let each kid pick some flowers to get them interested in it, just yeah. to see something cool bloom. But I didn't know if there was any like specific zinnia breeds that were better than the other. If anybody knew, yes. If anybody knows flowers anything about flowers, well. I know and I love the zinnias, and I want a variety mm -hmm. of sunflowers. Well, like if I, I know it's probably like the iris, because how many people think of iris as just what your your mom or your grandma grew, or the yacht, the yellow, the white, and the purple. Well, there's over like 80,000 named varieties yeah. of iris. And we only have, I think, a couple, 1,300 named varieties. And then we have, I think, around 1,400 from another farm, but we haven't got those all straightened out yet. So I can just imagine there's the same thing with sunflowers and zinnias. And I'm sure there has to be someone out there like me. Tanya says, life. check with Haas Tools. That's where we get Haas Todd Hills. Tools. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Powder says, scratch the little piggy's belly and see if it rolls over. He did today for the first time. He's getting used to people petting yeah. him and touching him. So I scratched his belly, and he did roll over for the first time today. Yeah. Now, my bigger piggies, oh, my goodness. oh they fall. They, they fall run. over. Mm -hmm. Yes. She, she finally chilled out. So, okay, so why I'm holding her so long is I want 
to be able to take her places. So she has to learn how to behave and that, like, you know, pick her up and then I want her to relax. And like, you see how she's relaxing and then I move her a little bit, she gets disturbed and then I'm going to make her go back to relaxing again and she's going to get comfy. Yeah. So she relaxes and then I kind of terrorize her a little bit just to get her used to being handled. I'm trying to keep her comfy. She's cute. Yeah, she's a mess. So did you want to say on flowers? Um, Michelle says so she's, she loves flowers, but she's not knowledgeable about them. <laughs> I'm right there with you. Yeah, no, yeah. We're, we're trying. Like, this has been uh, wanted to always be a farmer. Yeah. Good at, good at other things other than farming. So apparently, you know, hypnotizing chickens and Porcupines. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by the little piggy. Yeah. Oh, little carrot cake. Oh, they're so precious. Hey, Harry. Hey, carrot cake. Paula loves the porcupine. Oh, well, thank you guys for hopping on. Yes, we um, appreciate it. We got to get our kids ready for bed, finish checking homework, all that good stuff. And school was canceled again yes. for tomorrow here. And let's, we've been busy with homework today as well. Look at our little temper tantrum. Mm. I love their ears. I'm sorry, you guys. They're here. Their ears are so human like. Yes. I don't know if you maybe turn this way. This one, that one, there her mom go. tore her ear up. They look like very human ears. I don't know if you guys can see it. Turn this way. So the light. Oh, the light. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's all right. Their ears are very human-like. Yeah. They're crazy. I'm amazed. She don't really like me. I'm sorry. Pepper. Yeah, but that's because everyone's scared of her. It won't touch her. To yeah. And I, want, I want everyone to be able to love my porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to happen. She's probably a... Donna, these are meat pigs that we have, yeah. and they are not small. They're they're well, technically they are the smallest wild pig breed. Yeah, but so technically they're a smaller pig breed, but no, they're not small. And ours and get along with the dogs. A hundred pounds. Yeah, she says not with her pack of German shepherds, but um. Yeah, no, they're like a squeaker toy. Oh no, my dog and my pigs get along just fine. Pack of German Shepherds. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> I mean, it's one thing if it's like a fluffy farm dog friendly. But. Oh, Elizabeth says something about flowers. Zinnias are my number one favorite flowers to grow, and you can start them from seed or just start the seeds in the ground after the threat of frost or freezing has passed. So many varieties of zinnias. So there is a ton of varieties of zinnias. Okay. Is there any that she thinks that she's seen that's just spectacular? Yeah, let us know. Yeah. We, we're all about the spectacular. <laughs> I never thought I would say a porcupine is cute. Yes. Oh my God. She is so Fruity funny. there. He, she's cute. She is. I, I mean, I never thought. I didn't see that one coming. Yeah. They're so, so different in that they're eroded. They're so different. So neat. I never thought, I can't wait. I hope I can be walking this little porcupine around on a leash through my yeah. house field. So it'll be awesome. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep cutting her head off. I'm trying to read the comments. <laughs> oh, really? I'm a bad uh, multitasker. Oh, I'm not casting any stones. <laughs> Just remember in the casting stone department, I'm sitting on my hands. Aura said double headed zinnias are my favorite. Oh, there's double headed zinnias? Oh, awesome. Oh. Cigar man. Okay, camera woman is annoying as heck. I'm sorry. <gasps> <laughs> sorry. You know, I feel that too. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I can't please everyone, cigar man. <laughs> <laughs> we still love you. You are going to learn that. Yeah. YouTube yeah, I can't yeah. please everyone. Yeah. You can go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's everybody. No. You don't find a different channel <laughs> if your expectations are higher. <laughs> keep them low. Yeah, keep them low here. We're not technology friendly. <laughs> Carolyn says, how many different animals are on your farm? Oh. Are we talking like how many specific animals or how yeah. many varieties? 
I don't know. I, I have to. I can count and get back with you if you would like a specific. Yeah, we need a video over that. Okay. Yeah. Because there's there's a lot, and then a lot of people just bring me stuff. Yeah. So there's a lot of varieties I've got just from that. Hmm. Yeah. Let them bring bring them out here and let them live out the rest of their life. Yep. Yeah, like. Donkey. Oh, no, donkey. I mean, so donkey. Oh, that was down there yeah. Well, a lot of people have brought me animals just to, um, just to uh, finish out their life, and that was Donkey. Yeah. I had him for like ten years, and he was oh, he's sweet, and he was old when we got him. Someone recommended William as a cameraman. <laughs> yes. William is not into coming out and telling the animals how wonderful they are. Yeah. yeah. It's just hard to hold the camera and then also keep up with the comments. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. So it is. It good sucks. I've had to mm -hmm. get a stand so both of you Get a stand. Because okay. I was actually trying to see if it would if, zoom out. If it would zoom No, it does not. It doesn't. Oh, okay. Well, we will try and have it better. Next time. Yeah. Everybody got to start somewhere. Yep. And that's teach the them them camera skills, Brandon. Yes. We do learn from him. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yes. Yeah, he takes us out and takes us classes. Yeah. As you can tell, even getting this live going yeah. required Brandon. Yes, how to push the correct buttons. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Once you learn it, it's it's down. Oh, you just gotta me. I'm hands on. So yeah, yeah. But all right, well. We better go get the kids ready for bed. So yes. We are, it's a southern thing. I think we say goodbye. You have to at least say goodbye for 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, for we, sure we, thing. Sometimes we do it for 45. Oh, yeah. yeah. Isn't that the hardest thing? So, but uh, I want to say thank you guys for coming along. I hope you enjoyed, of course, as much porcupine is going to decide that she's had enough. Huh? You ready to? She ready to go snuggle. Yeah. She, she is. wants on the couch. And, the blanket yeah but thanks for coming along i hope you enjoy thanks for hopping on thank you val and tanya i mean that's awesome i can't wait to go get the critters some some goodies and uh, until we see you next time and happy birthday michelle yes, happy birthday you guys have a great day bye-bye i would lift her up but she's not happy with me right okay now. wait